There's a lot of great artists. There's a lot of great musicians that have a story. It could be a struggle story. It could be a hopeful story. It can be a great story. It can be a sad story. It can be a happy. It doesn't matter. But it can inspire someone to get out of the bubbles that they may be in. Definitely, life is hard, right? But there's always that great moment when someone treats you with respect and kindness and it kind of sticks with you. You know, when somebody opens a door for you or somebody gets you a cup of coffee or does a small act of kindness, it goes a long way. Hi, my name is David Maldonado. I'm a Houston-based artist and I'm the founder of Pandulce HTX. I grew up in Pasadena and I would go to Houston on field trips and stuff and I was amazed by it. Every, I mean, I was always praising a time when there was like a, a train passing by and everyone was like, oh, we're stuck in traffic, you know? But I think the murals that I saw and the opportunities that we had when I was in high school are a big part of what I'm doing now outside of it. Definitely my work. I think there's a lot of elements of pop and contemporary, and some graffiti and some stuff that's more realistic. I did a project with Adidas and the Astros doing seven cleats for Carlos Correa. Awesome that we did seven games, right? And uh, seven cleats. The project with the cleats and Carlos Correa was about narrating somewhat of his story, but also celebrating Houston, its diversity, its struggle. We had just gone through Harvey, and so I think the shoes, the journey, the hype, the, the game, the community was all part of the inspiration for those cleats. And I think that's why it was a really important project, not only for my career, my start, but also for the city and, and really just kind of encouraging people and getting people motivated. So in a lot of my murals, you'll find an astronaut. Most people would think that it has something to do with Space City. I kind of always use it as kind of a mask, as a way of portraying people without actually putting the person in it. A fun way to open that up to where people could envision themselves inside the suit. Before I started doing artwork full time, I was teaching guitar for the majority of what I was, my time. And then I started an organization called Bandulce HCX, which was like a curated multimedia type event. So Bandulce HCX, I love the name, but I really love that culturally, I remember eating Bandulce like, you know, whenever our families would get together for different occasions. Whether it was somebody was in the hospital, was it a funeral or a birthday party or a family reunion, there was always pan dulce and it had all these different shapes and sizes and colors. I thought that was a perfect analogy for diverse and multi-talented people. I felt like we are those different shapes and sizes and colors and we all are part of one family and one box and one city. It's also kind of what I wanted for myself as a, as a, as a kid. You know, a lot of people would talk down on, on, on wanting to pursue art because it didn't seem like a real job. It didn't seem like something that was, was real. And I'm not telling everyone to become an artist, but I'm saying well, there are artists in our community that we should support. We should help cultivate and nurture. And if Pan Dulce can be the stage, the platform where people can express themselves in those manners, we'd love to be a part of that. So one of the elements at Creative Night for Pan Dulce HTX is that we have like piece that's kind of like a coloring book on a canvas and people will actually paint voluntarily will just paint on it and so it's really cool to see all these like mix of textures and colors all kind of being put together some people know how to blend some people just want to add some color to it so it's a really cool unique way of not only seeing unity through the event but seeing unity on a painting going to Pan Dulce HCX in five years I think it would be more than a creative night. My hope is that I'd, I'd be able to maybe have some scholarships, have opportunities for internships, to be able to provide resources for young artists who might feel like they can't get that. Really be there for a younger me.